have the pleasure of speaking with Brent Willis from Voyager Pharmaceutical. How are you today? I'm great, Tracy. Thanks for having me on. And of course, of course, with Voyager, we all have the theme model line down from earth to bottle, correct? That's right. Full integration of the radiology drug market. And you just put out some really good news, or at least I perceive it to be good news. I saw an NPV of 344 million directly related to your PEA results. Tell us about your PEA results for us, please. Uh, well, they verified everything we knew that, uh, you know, we have a very special project. Uh, owning the, one of the highest grade barium sulfate deposits in the world allows us to uh, sell a very high end product for high value. And uh, you don't need a whole lot of uh, resource to create high level cash flow and a high net present value over 10 years of 344 million. And what's uh, very impressive about it is the eternal rate of return of 137% after tax. And it really shows what a great investment in Voyager Pharmaceuticals is right at this point. And of course, one of the analysts that participated in the investor talk that you just recently hosted wrote me with obviously some very credi credible players from the pharmaceutical uh, industry sector are taking Voyager seriously based on your recent board announcements. Would you like to talk about this? Well, our scientific advisory board is key for us moving forward on our product development, on our existing generics that we're making, and but more importantly, on our new products that we're making, next generation uh, contrast products for the industry. And uh, having the top doctors in the world sitting on our board is uh, critical to uh, formulate and test and get their feedback on the performance of these drugs. So it's very critical for a pharmaceutical company to have a really strong scientific advisory board. And we're very happy to have the team what we have in place. And of course, it's my understanding that you are doing some trials right now for processing, is that correct? Um, not, not like cl clinical trials. What we're doing is we're testing our products within our own uh, staff. We're, we're going to the clinics and we're, we're swallowing our barium. We're running CT scans. That's, that hasn't started yet. It's going to start here in the next three weeks is our plan. And uh, to ensure that our products are working as effectively as, as possible and equivalent to what's in the marketplace today. And for those of you out there that may not be familiar with barium, uh, would you like just to touch really briefly on the issues around barium and how it's controlled currently our global supply? Yeah, currently, there is uh, a very limited supply of, of a natural occurring uh, high purity barium sulfate. Uh, we have the only deposit that we know of that is uh, grading over 98% barium sulfate. Um, all other product is synthetically man-made and it's very expensive. So being able to mine it uh, for mother nature, it's obviously our costs are much lower and that's what gives us the competitive advantage in the uh, high-end bearing market moving forward. The publisher for Investor Intel, Jack Lipton, was telling me that you know mining might be uh, incorrect for people to truly appreciate where this barium is and that you don't actually have to mine it. It's closer to surface. Can you talk to me a little bit about this? Yeah, there's uh, you know, there's a difference between a mine and a quarry and we, we're, we're a quarry. So we're, we don't have any leachable minerals. We don't have uh, anything other than barium sulfate and dolomite. It's very much like a gravel pit. So it's easy to permit. Our environmental uh, hurdles are, are very low and uh, we expect permitting on our on our quarry permitting uh, to advance quite quickly after we do our bulk sample. And so what should we as investors and shareholders anticipate, say, in the upcoming quarter? What are we looking forward to right now? Because you've got a wide spectrum of objectives based on what I have read. Well, working with the FDA is number one. We are uh, doing our pre-submission. And after that, we will be submitting our device applications for licensing in the United States. That's a major milestone that's coming down the pipeline here um, in the next uh, two, to, two to three quarters, we think it will uh, should come to fruition. Um, 
we're looking at sales into Canada, which will happen the next couple of quarters with uh, our initial uh, batch runs that will go to market and test market. And we'll be reaching out to provincial uh, health authorities to uh, begin bidding our products into the uh, Canadian market. Well, Brent, what I would love, because we're all following and watching what you're doing, is every time you achieve one of these milestones, let's get an investor intel update so that we can all follow Voyager Pharmaceuticals. Excellent. I love that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Brent.